I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm cranky, I'm, I'm running out of gas around 3 o'clock in the daytime. All I can think about is getting in the bed and going to sleep. I guess this is what people go through when they do bodybuilding competitions. I want to reach out and ask them all of them. I remember they tell me they're mean and grumpy, so I guess it's a good thing nobody's here with me, but I'm tired. Really tired. I'm having a bowl of my turkey, navy bean, kale, carrot, tomato soup with 361 calories and 39 grams of protein. One of my trolls called it Kim's Pig Slot, but I really, really like it. These are the two creatine powders that I've used. One is um, from First Form and one is from No Bull. And I have reviews up about this one and I will about the, the No Bull. How I use it is in the morning I just take a cup and one of my energy juices, shake it up. I'm taking the um, no bowl right now. And right now, since I'm on weight restriction, I'm only using half a dose. And I read several places that mixing it with carbs is good so I just put in the bottom of a glass put some juice in there swirl it around you can see it does not dissolve drink it there's product residue left rinse repeat and there's my creatine you can do it again if you like the training has been pitiful for the past two or three weeks. I only did yoga in one circuit and then left and went to alumni weekend where it was mostly sitting. Then I went to the beach and the only exercise I got down there was I walked an hour on the beach. Then Saturday I did like a hot circuit. I just didn't feel well. I was only in the gym for 45 minutes and I was really pushing myself. I really didn't know what was going on but I was 108 on my scales. And then the first part of this week, I've been at a conference for three days, so I didn't even have a minute to do anything other than eat and socialize, network, get people jobs, get people into graduate school, and solve problems. So I came home Wednesday and cleaned house, did laundry, repacked, and hopefully we'll get to the gym for the last part of this week. For the past two weeks, I've had so many events that actually allowed very little time for working out and a lot of time for socializing and eating. I celebrated the end of my summer classes with a blizzard. I celebrated driving to Canada with the blizzard. We had a great luncheon at Alumni Weekend at Tactical Response. I celebrated coming home from Tactical Response with the blizzard, but it was all worth it because I got some really good training, got to socialize with my friends, and that was all worth it. Then I drove to the beach to meet with my family, of course, celebrating with the blizzard. Down there, I ate and enjoyed myself eating all of that fresh seafood and other things that I don't normally eat. Again, it was worth it because I got to spend great time with my family. Then I headed to summer conference where we do an annual uh, visit to what we call the Big Ass Restaurant, where we get a piece of cheesecake because it was National Cheesecake Day. I had some more great meals with my friends. Just did a lot of socializing, and it was worth it. It honored me with post-secondary teacher of the year from a section from Family and Consumer Science, and then as well as a state. Now, my three big events for eating and overeating and excessive eating and yummy eating are over, and I've got to get to the grind about getting this weight off. Stick with me. Let's see if it happens. Thank you for watching. Do all that good YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment below. And until next time, bye. Take care of yourself.